However, you look at the other teams in this division, the Phillies, as much as I think the Phillies are going to get this wild card spot, possibly the top one, they shouldn't feel comfortable because keep in mind, the Cubs are only what? Four games behind them. The Miami Marlins are only two games behind them. Uh, Same with the Reds, the Giants. Like these teams are all right up against the Phillies right now. And there are two teams on the outside looking in, one of which I've said from day one is a playoff team, and that's the Arizona Diamondbacks. I still think the Diamondbacks got a big run in them because, listen, they wouldn't be in this position at all if they didn't lose 10 straight about a week ago. If that, they didn't lose those 10 straight, straight the, Phil, the Arizona Diamondbacks would have the top wild card spot right now. Yes, I would. Yes, I would indeed. But here's the thing. I would also, even despite where they are right now, I would still be surprised if the team makes the playoffs. This was a team that none of us touted going into this season, especially into the National League West. We expected them to finish roughly fourth in the West. We knew the Rockies were going to be the worst team in that division, unquestionably. We knew the Dodgers were still going to be good, but we didn't expect them to win this division. We really all were touting two teams. I was touting the Diamondbacks as loudly as I possibly could, and I still am. I still think they're a playoff team, and I do think they're going to get one of those wild card spots. But the Padres were the team that we all thought was the team that was going to run away with this. Keep in mind, I know we have short memory spans, but this is the team that knocked out the Dodgers in the NLDS last year to get to the CS before they lost to the Phillies to go to the World Series. So this was the team we were expecting to be the real challengers this year. Hasn't been the case thus far. They're on the outside looking in. Dodgers running away with the division. d back still in it. Padres still in it. But the Giants were a surprise. We were not expecting this team to win the way they were. Now they are coming back down to a little bit of reality. They still have the second wild card spot. But they're currently sitting 64-58. and 58. They are only mm, a couple of games above Miami and Cincinnati as we currently stand. In fact, uh, less than that. It looks like they're about a half a game ahead right now of those two teams. I do think they're going to be the team that falls out. So not only are they going to be the team that I think uh, doesn't make it to the NLCS, I don't even think they're going to make the playoffs, in my opinion, right now is where we're currently standing. I'm 100% on board. We had this conversation about the National League playoff picture earlier in the day, and the Giants were the team that I left out as well. And I'll go back to the deadline. Look, they came off the deadline taking three out of four against Arizona, and we were all kind of like, oh, okay, maybe that, maybe they are right there. But then it turns out, no, Arizona was just absolutely mashing the brakes for just a minute. Since then, they dropped a couple to Oakland. Since then, they dropped two out of the three to the L.A., not the good ones, the Angels ones. Since then, they dropped two out of three against Texas, and they should have lost the one that they lost in extra innings. Since then, they dropped two out of three to a Tampa Bay team that has lost the mojo, and they got shut out by Atlanta. And, oh, by the way, even though I am breaking my rule of don't bet on the Braves, I'm going to hammer the Braves on the run line tonight as well. The Giants are an okay team. When I look at teams that can make the playoffs, I'm looking for teams that are putting together streaks that can get hot, who can get hot and sustain it, like the Phillies did last year and can do again this year, like the Marlins have done a couple of times this year. I don't think the Giants are getting in the playoffs, so yes, I would be more than shocked if they made it to the NLCS. Uh, No, I would not be surprised. Uh, The Rays are not the same team they were earlier in the year. Shane McClanahan is out for the year. Other pitchers are currently injured. Um, I don't know if you've heard about this Wander Franco story, but it is not looking like Wander Franco is ever going to play a Major League Baseball game again. This team is no longer the same team. The Rays are currently, in my eyes, even though I do think they're going to get one of the wild card spots, you know, barring a complete collapse, which, by the way, Based on how things go, listen, baseball's crazy. Little things, not little things, I apologize. No, not little things. Things like this can absolutely tank an entire clubhouse, tank an entire team and franchise just when they needed it the most. So, yeah, do I expect them to be knocked out of the wild card round? I do. I also wouldn't be shocked if they full-on collapse and fall out of the wild card altogether, even though they are that high up in the wild card. And they're still playing consistent baseball, but they're also playing against the Angels right now. So don't give them too much credit for winning two games in a row. Uh, you went where I was going. This is a this is a clubhouse ruining situation for the Rays, plus mm-hmm. the pitching injuries that they're dealing with right now. Uh, mm-hmm. Look, 
The Astros have 70 wins. Can they catch the Rays down four? Of course they can. The Mariners have 67. They're seven back on the Rays. Can they catch them? Absolutely. The Blue Jays are seven back of the Rays. Can they catch them? If the pitting gets hot, they absolutely can. So not only would I be surprised if the Rays don't make, or would I not be surprised if the Rays don't make it out of the wildcard round? I wouldn't be surprised if the Rays don't make the damn playoffs and become the most disappointing early season start that has ever happened. Dude, I like Miami. I mean, Miami has just hit the so point where they kind of are. I hate to be cliche, but they're just that little engine that could, right? Like they went on that tough spot out of the all-star break where it seemed mm -hmm. like they had fallen off. It's like everybody went, okay, there's, there's Miami. That's the Marlins. And then they, they were like, no, we're good. We're just going to stay alive. And you go out to LA and you, you, you knock off one of the best win streaks in major league baseball so far this season. And you do it in a damn fine way, but they have five home runs uh, in, 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 a, in a, just a mash fest. It was a derby. It was phenomenal. So no, I agree with you. I think Philly is still in a really good spot, but I'm at the point and it wouldn't surprise me because I do think you've got to say at this point, uh, the Braves have won the East. You might have two wildcard teams coming out of the out of that division.